I once made a PowerPoint presentation for a trade show booth that consisted of just one slide with a looping video on it. That way, passersby would be able to see my media clip without me having to babysit the computer throughout the day. Here I have a great testimonial that's short enough for people passing through. Here's how to set up a media clip to continue to loop until you stop it manually. Click on your video to select it. Then go up to the Video Tools and Playback tab. In the center are a series of video options. Find the option that says Loop Until Stopped and click on its check mark. I'll also set the video to start automatically so it will loop indefinitely without me having to click in between iterations. Now you also have the ability, instead of looping indefinitely, to set a specific number of repetitions. Go up to the Animations tab and on the right hand side, click on the Animation Pane button. The Animation Pane opens up on the right. Here I can see two instances of my video. The top one says After Previous and that's why it plays automatically. The second instance is on click, so that if I click on the video, it will start and stop. Because I want this to work automatically, I'll work with the first instance. I'll click on the drop-down on the far right-hand side, and I'll select Timing from the drop-down list. Here I can see that it says Repeat until end of slide. Click on that drop-down, and here I have options. I could have it repeat twice, three times, four times, ten times if I wanted. I'll go ahead and I'll have it repeat just four times. If you wanted, you could also tell it to rewind when it's done playing. That way, it will always go back to the first frame instead of the last frame. We discuss rewinding at length in another video in this chapter. I'll click OK. Now, when I play my slideshow, as soon as my video clip reaches the end, it'll start over. They're literally saving my relationship tonight, so it's, it's where I come every time. Hansel and Pedal is awesome. If I want to pause the clip, I can either press escape on my keyboard or click on the video to start it and stop it, or I can use the playback controls. To advance to another slide, click on any part of the slide that's not part of your media object. Notice here that I have two animated clip arts, which PowerPoint does actually consider movies. The one on the left is looping repeatedly, but the flower on the right did its thing once and then it's done. Because they're animated GIF graphics from the clip art gallery, you don't have any control over their looping. That was set by the creator of the artwork. Using looping on your media clips is a practical and convenient way of playing a video repeatedly without your manual input.